of friends and fellow bookworms. I'll be reading the book Billy the Kid Makes It Big by Dolly Parton, illustrated by Mackenzie Haley. If you like dogs and country music, then this book is for you. All right, let's get started. Billy the Kid was born with an ear for music. Music made Billy feel connected to something bigger than himself. At the pluck of a guitar string, he'd race over and bark to the beat. Whenever he closed his eyes, he dreamed of having his own country band so he could make great music with great friends. Welcome to Nashville Music City. After months of wishing, hoping and practicing, Billy the Kid set out for Nashville to make his dream come true. As soon as he arrived, he explored downtown, sniffing out the city lights. When the sign caught his eye, his stubby tail began to wag. This is it! Boots, good and fun. Auditions for Battle of the Bow Wows. Quickly, Billy joined the sign-up line. New around here? asked the large dog. Billy nodded. How'd you know? Lucky guess, the dog grinned. Name's Big Earl. This here's my band. Nice to meet you, said Billy. Maybe we could jam sometime. You play with us? Big Ear laughed. You're barking up the wrong tree. You're clearly not a true metropolitan like us, added Big Pearl, her nose in the air. Beat it, kid, bellowed Big Merle. Billy the Kid tucked his tail between his legs and ran. What was I thinking coming to Nashville? Those dogs are right. I don't belong here. Oh. Billy felt lower than a stick on the ground. He ate some flowers. That helped a little. Then he strummed his guitar. That helped a lot. And I will always love you. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Oh, Jolene. <laughs> it had been a rough day. Music always made him feel better. The sound of applause took Billy by surprise. You're positively perfect, said Bo. Yeah, agreed, agreed Binky. Want to join our band? You all don't want me, Billy told them. I'm not big city material. Bo made a face. You clearly love making music. That's what we're about. Billy wasn't sure what to say until Buster, the tiniest pub, finally broke the silence. Pollies? When Billy nodded, the little dogs cheered. To the studio, said Bo. The battle of the Bow Wows is tomorrow. It was a long night, but by sunup, Billy the Kid had to admit, we don't sound half bad. On the way to the battle, though, Billy began to get nervous. What if I mess up? What if everyone laughs at me? It got worse backstage when Billy heard a familiar voice. Who let you in, Pipsqueak? asked Big Earl. And what are you wearing? added Big Pearl. Billy froze. But then he realized they weren't talking to him. They're picking on Buster, cried Binky. Bo gasped. What do we do? Billy's hackles rose. He wished someone would teach those big dogs a lesson. Then he realized who could. 
Follow me, he growled. A few minutes later, a huge shadow fell across Earl, Pearl, and Merle. It was the biggest dog they've ever seen. Who gave you the right to bully Buster? boomed the biggest dog. Relax, said Big Earl. We were just having fun. You weren't having fun. You were making fun, the biggest dog said. And making fun ain't funny. Earl, Pearl, and Merle didn't stick around to hear any more. They howled and headed for the hills. All right! The pups shed their disguise. Thanks, y'all, said Buster. Billy and his bandmates embraced. Battle of the Bow Wows. The lights dimmed. The Battle of the Bow Wows began. It was an epic battle. Dogs crooned, dogs tranged, dogs howled and wailed and sang. When it was Billy's turn to perform, his heart was beating but double time. But soon he began to relax and enjoy himself. He finally felt like he was right where he belonged. Bullies never ever get respect from anyone. At the awards ceremony, Billy's band got a standing ovation. It was totally possum. Afterward, they took a walk and ended up at the magnificent music hall, Grand Ole Opry House. This has been a night I'll always remember, said Billy the Kid. Me too, said Bo. We rocked and our trophies huge. Best new act. Let's celebrate our differences instead of making fun. Just then, Billy's favorite singer stepped on stage. Her warm voice reminded him why he came to Nashville. Miss Dolly Parton herself. The trophy's great, Billy said to his friends, but I feel like we won something even bigger. The end. Did you enjoy this story? And were you able to read along? Awesome! You can find this and many other books at your local library or check out the description below to learn more. If you want to become a Read Along Book Club member, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell if you're allowed so you don't miss any future uploads. Until next time!